Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus and in this video I will show you how to annotate PDF files. So I am using two different apps. The first app is Samsung Notes which is a pre-installed app and the second one is Zodo. You can install this app through Play Store. So I will start with Samsung Notes. So once you open the Samsung Notes on the top right corner you will see an option of PDF Plus. So you see there is a small icon over here it says PDF Plus. So once you bring your pen closer to it it will give you the option of import PDF. So I just select it and once you select it it will take you to the location where you have all your PDF files available. So for example I go over here in the download folder so I have different PDF files I select one PDF file and I press done and it will open this PDF in my Samsung notes so you can see this is the uh, PDF file okay so you can see over here okay on uh, the top right corner uh, in here you will see an option of page sorter icon so this is really really important so once you select this page sorter icon on left side it will open all the pages for this PDF file so you can directly go to any page for example if you want to select this page it will directly go to this specific page and you can annotate this page all your tools available over here the second thing is it will also show you the number of pages of this PDF file so this PDF has 215 pages okay and you can also edit the pages as well okay uh, for example if you want to add a certain page okay so if you want to add a page after this page number four what you can do is select these three dots you can see the first option it is showing is called add page so once you select it it will give you different page template options or you can also go over here this is a PDFs option so it also has different PDF template options so you can select any of these so for example I select this um, uh, this page okay so you can see after page number four it give me a new page okay and here you can uh, write anything okay so for example you want to annotate something in this page you can annotate okay so now we will move to different tools that you can uh, use in the PDF file so for example uh, I go to this page okay so you can see over here so you can see so if you want to use your pen and you want to write something okay uh, you can select this pen option and there are different pen tools available you can select any of these okay so you can see so for example I select this one you can change the thickness and here you can also change the thickness and here uh, you can change the color okay so for example I select this red color I change the thickness okay and if you want to write with your pen you can write with pen okay so this pen gives you a really smooth feeling because it has 2.8 millisecond latency it gives you paper like feeling and you will feel really good really soft feeling okay and then if we move to the second tool which is the highlighter really important tool so here you have four different type of highlighter options so for example you select this one you can change the thickness so you can see over here you can also change the opacity okay from here and then you can change the color for example I select this color this thickness and here I can highlight anything from the text okay so you can see over here then I again change the color okay I change this okay so you can see you can highlight it and then if you want to use different other highlighter for example this one is the straight line highlighter you can also use it it will be like that okay so you can see over here okay now let's move to the next tool next tool is the eraser tool very simple tool you can uh, use the stroke eraser or area eraser for example I select this stroke eraser if I want to um, uh, like uh, erase something you can see you can erase okay like this one or this one okay uh, then we have the selection tool you can select any part okay for example I select this part okay and then if I want to move it here I can move it okay so you can see I can put it anywhere the next tool is the S Pen to text tool so whatever you want to write with your pen it will convert it into the text so for example I select this tool and I write something over here okay so you can see 
I write here okay so you can see it convert it into the text okay and then if you want to change its size you can also change it okay for example here is the size tool okay so for example if I want to make it small so there are different options okay so you can see I select this one and then you can see it change its size you can also change its color there are different colors okay so for example different text color I selected red okay so you can see you can change different colors as well from here and then you can also change its position so all the tools for the text available the next tool is the straighten tool okay so for example you write something okay so for example you write something over here and you want to make it straight so you can use this straighten tool just select it and then you see it make it uh, with uh, because I make it I write it in the tilt form then it make it in the straight okay and you can use this tool okay uh, then we have again there is one more tool it's called convert to text tool so whatever you write it will convert it into the text for example uh, I write something here okay and I, I use this tool okay so you can see it give me the option of converting so it is giving me the option here right here so I convert so you can see it convert it into the text okay uh, then we have this tool name of the tool is change style so whatever you write you can change its style so just select this one different option you can select the color for example I want to change the color okay so then simply I just use my arrow and it will change the color okay like that okay uh, then I also have the easy writing pad so once you select it uh, you can it gives you a, a pad form where you can write something so for example you write something over here so you can see it will show over here so it gives you a pad in which you can write in a straight line okay uh, the next tool is really important tool name of the tool is shape tool it auto fix shapes so now for example I open the page sorter option okay and I try to draw some kind of shape over here let's say and uh, you can see so I select this tool okay and I try to draw some shape like a circle so it will convert it into a neat shape auto fix shape I try to draw this shape okay you can see and then I try to draw a, like a square okay so now it convert into the uh, into this if I want to draw some arrow okay I can use this one and then here I can label something okay on my PDF okay so you can draw different types of shape uh, with the uh, with this tool okay uh, then we have uh, this uh, lock zoom lock so basically uh, this one is if you want to lock your page you want to work on this specific page you can use this page and it will not move okay so you can see I put my finger it will not move but if you want to move it you have to use your two fingers and then it will move with with one finger or if you put your hand on top it will not move okay and then we have other tools available over here okay so let's see if uh, you want to uh, use uh, if you want to insert some kind of image you can insert it okay for example insert image you can go to your gallery okay you can open any image okay for example I want this image I want to insert I press done and this image will come over here then I can resize it I can put in my PDF okay uh, then we also have the camera you can take any picture put in your PDF then we have scan image you can insert another PDF then we have voice recording audio files drawing and text box tool also available okay and uh, then over here we have more options page template if you want to insert different page as I show you over here different page option PDFs option also available then we have page setting if you want to change the color so you can see change the background so you can see you can change the background okay and uh, then we also have uh, the scroll direction you can move in, in the horizontal direction okay like that okay so you can do it and then we also have the uh, two page horizontal so two page will come over here in the horizontal direction you can move okay so you can see 2021 20, so 22 23 so two pages together and you can move them in the horizontal direction 
okay uh, the next thing is if you want to save your file which is really important save as file option you can convert your pdf file into samsung notes file you can convert into the same pdf file you can convert it into the microsoft word microsoft powerpoint image file or text file so there are a lot of options you can convert your pdf file into uh, the next uh, thing is the tags so you can use the tags so for example I put any tag okay so my PDF I can give it a tag of my PDF okay and then I press done so this tag will save okay and now for example if I go back okay and I search okay so you can see the tag is over here I just select it and it will show my PDF file in front of me and then I can edit it okay uh, for example first thing I want to use this direction so it will be easy for me and I open the page sorter so this will be really uh, a good kind of dashboard where I can uh, see my all pages and I can also add pages or edit pages as well uh, so uh, there are other tools also available finger drawing on as well so you can search it you can use your finger to draw something instead of the pen if you don't want to use the pen you can use your finger as well so in this um, uh, Samsung notes you can use all these tools so now I will move to the next app name of the app is Zodo so I will open the Zodo app and once you open the Zodo app on uh, right side over here you see this plus icon just select it and once you select it it will give you different options so I select this PDF from documents once you select it it will take you to the location where you have your PDF files available so I select this PDF file I select it and I convert it okay and then I again select so it will open uh, this PDF file so you can see the PDF file is now open okay so you can see over here so I will make it bigger okay so you can see so now what you can do on uh, left side on top left side you will uh, see this view option just select it and once you select it it will show you all the tools available for PDF annotation so first tool is annotate I select this one and it will show you all the tools over here okay so you can see there are different tools available so for example uh, I select uh, this tool over here so this tool is text highlight tool so once you select it it will uh, do the highlighter okay so for example if I want to highlight from here I simply select this area till here and it will automatically highlight it for me so once you select uh, this highlighter tool over here it will show you different colors option and you can also change it okay so you can see different colors okay so once I select if I go over here there are different colors option also available okay so you can see there are different colors okay then if you want you can also change the opacity from here okay so you can see you can change the opacity as well so same thing with this one okay so you can change different colors okay the next tool is the free highlighter tool so I select this free highlighter tool over here so you can use your pen and you can uh, highlight anything any part of your PDF okay any text okay so you can see it will be like this okay and from here you can change the color so let's I will do it so you can see this is the free highlighter tool okay and then uh, the next one is the underline tool text underline tool so select this underline tool and then you can select any part of the text and you can underline it so you can see and then if you uh, select this over here you have different colors option so for example uh, I go over here and I select this color I select it and then it will uh, give me uh, this color line okay and then uh, we have this free hand tool okay so once you select this free hand tool uh, you can use your pen to write okay so you can see okay so you can use this one and then we have uh, if you select it it gives you more options over here you can uh, change the stroke size okay so you can see it will go till 40 points okay you can change the opacity you can also change the color for example you like this color okay and then you can see you can also use the pressure sensitivity as well so uh, for example I like this one and I change the stroke size and here I try to write so you can see okay so I can write over here 
okay uh, the next uh, tool uh, we will move forward uh, the next tool is free text tool so this is a text tool so i select this one and i try to write something over here okay and then it will show you the keyboard and you can change uh, you can write anything over here okay right here okay and then uh, with the text tool it also give you the all uh, text uh, tools uh, option like stroke okay the text size uh, the opacity you can also change it you can also change the style roboto and then we have other uh, other styles also available the next tool is the uh, text strike out tool okay so once you select it and then if you want to uh, do the text strike out so you can do it like this so you can see line over the text you can use this tool as well and the next tool is the uh, text squiggly tool just select it and select any part of the text and then it will show you line in this format okay and then we have the sticky note tool so sticky note tool is basically you can select this tool and you can select over here and you can put any note okay so you can write over here okay and then you can save it and then you see once you select it it will open the note for you okay so you can also change its position as well so really important okay the next tool is the eraser tool so if you write something okay you can erase okay so for example if you select over here you can change its size okay this is maximum okay and then you can see if you do it like this it will erase okay so you can see you can use this eraser tool as well really really amazing the next tool is the call out tool so just select it okay and then here you can write uh, any text okay so you can see so you can see over here and then you can also change uh, this call out as well so you can see i can change it like this okay and then you can also edit it you can change the color you can also copy it you can also delete it okay you can also make it size bigger like that you can also do it like this okay like that so you can use this tool as well then we have the multi select tool so basically this is for the selection then we have multi select tool again also for selection you can use this tool as well if we go over here these three dots we have more actions and then uh, the most important thing you can save a copy okay so once you select the save a copy option you have the identical copy flattened copy reduced file size copy permanently cropped copy and password protected copy so you have different option you also have the option of print okay and uh, then if uh, you select this uh, tool it's called view mode once you select it it, be, it give you the option of uh, uh, vertical scrolling and uh, i will show you so it gives you option of vertical scrolling the color mode you can rotate you can crop your pages okay so different options in the viewing mode as well okay uh, if you go over here uh, on this one so this is browse thumbnail so once you select it it will open all the pages in front of you and from here you can also directly go to the page where you uh, uh, do your um, annotation so for example i do my annotation over here you can see like this one so you can go directly to this page okay so for example if i want to go to this page i select and it will open this specific page for me and then we have more tools guys so uh, we have the draw option over here so once you select it will give you the draw tools on top okay so you can use this tool so like this one is for the writing okay and uh, this one eraser this one is for shape which is really important okay so you can draw different shapes over here you can see different shapes you can draw okay and uh, okay and then we have like this tool it's like a uh, a cloud tool okay so you can see different type okay so you can see you can create like this one and once you're done you can press this done option then we have lines okay so you can see and you can also change their size okay and then we have like this arrow tool okay and if i move forward so this is like arrow tool this is like line tool and then we have like this one okay press done okay and then if you go over here we have more tool uh, the most important tool is the fill and sign because in pdf we have to uh, use the uh, for it for the signature so for example fill and sign tool you can use it for signature this is the signature tool so create signature go over here you can create your signature 
okay so for example i create this signature i press done and where, wherever you go for example uh, if you want to uh, you put your signature you can do it okay so for example i want to put my signature over here i just use my s pen and do it like this and my signature is over here uh, then we have other tools like text tool free text tool uh, then we have this text box okay and then we have other tools also available i made a separate video about zordo app you can also watch in which i explain all of the other uh, uh, tools so basically um, i want to show you how you can edit your um, pdf how you can annotate your pdf in samsung galaxy tab s8 plus by using uh, two different apps so in zordo you have a lot of um, options available for the annotations uh, of pdf so uh, once you finish uh, your annotation and you see all your work is done you can uh, just simply save a copy okay go back from here select these three dots and then this option over here it's called save a copy so you can save your copy which is really important once you finish your work you can give it any location okay and then uh, you can save it uh, the uh, in samsung notes uh, it will automatically save once you i go back okay you can see over here okay so once i go back so uh, your um, uh, your pdf file will automatically save over here and then you can open it again you can edit it from here and then you can also again save it uh, if you want to save it in a different format you can also save it so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much